On the 27th of April 2005, the biggest and heaviest passenger plane the world had ever seen, the Airbus A380, was ready to take off from Toulouse Airport. On this first test flight, no chances would be taken. The crew were equipped with parachutes and a handrail had been fitted, leading from the cockpit to an escape door. At 73 metres long, with a wingspan of 80 metres, the aircraft was as big as a football pitch. Weighing a massive 440 tonnes, the first takeoff was a nail-biting moment, but, defying gravity, the aircraft heaved itself into the sky. The twin-decked, twin-aisled A380 has twice as much floor space as conventional jumbo jets. With a maximum capacity of 840, the A380 can also be configured to carry nearly 300 fewer passengers, with the remaining free space used for features like luxury seating, beds, shops, bars and restaurants, and even a casino. The innovative cabin lighting can simulate daylight, night or any shade in between. Powered by four specially designed engines, this plane also has an incredible 500 kilometers of wiring within the airframe. The Super Jumbo was unveiled in Toulouse just a few months earlier at a ceremony attended by European leaders and heralded as an example of European collaboration at its best. The wings were to be built in the UK, fuselage sections in Germany and the tail in Spain. Then the massive parts would be transported to Toulouse in France where they would be assembled. The strategy for supersized jets like the A380 was that they would attract airlines by doubling capacity on long-haul flights, dramatically cutting operating costs. But critics have pointed out the inflexibility of aircraft this size and rivals Boeing in America are developing smaller aircraft that will carry fewer passengers but to more diverse destinations with smaller existing airports. The facilities at destination airports are major factors in determining where the much larger Airbus can fly. Many existing airports will need modifications to terminal gates and taxiways to accommodate this new colossus. After four hours of tests, the new King of the Skies made a smooth landing on its 22 wheels. History will determine if Super Jumbos are the best solution for the future of air travel. <laughs>